going on? I figure I'll do a little show and tell today. Um, been showcasing this a little bit. It's been finding its way into some videos so far, so figured I'd do a little rundown that we can be like standalone. This is how the system works, kind of a deal. Um, little old dust collector cart here. It's going to be impromptu. So, when I was thinking of this setup a little while ago, I figured I would want something that's one, going to be suitable for a smaller woodworking shop, and two, suitable for going on and off uh, job sites. You know what I mean? I take this thing with me all the time in the truck. It's got its own little specific spot where it likes to live. Um, figure each week, I'll maybe I'll do one of these. You know what I mean? Just showcase certain tools, little DIY things. Um, this week's going to be dust collector. So I have affectionately, affectionately, excuse me, named this thing Mike Dyson. Um, like I said, uh, actually mobile. Um, fits in the truck really nice and neat. I wound up just kind of sandwiching three pieces of three quarter together. Gave the inside areas a half inch radius. It seems to slip in and out really nice and neat. Airtight, friction fit. It's been working really well. I haven't had to change this since I prototyped it. I mean, this is the prototype. It works well. There's no point changing it. Um, so it installs with a French cleat, just a little piece of three quarter. Now, if you decide that you want to copy this little setup I got here, go for it. The only thing that you'll need to know is that the standoff from the lower rolly box to any box that you're gonna put on top, it's gonna to be inch and a quarter. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you just buy a couple boxes, stack them on top. So, with this setup, I went with the Gen 1s specifically because it doesn't have the flip top. Um, you figure you're gonna to have to take everything apart to access these anyway. And having the lid still on there, I think is just the way to go. I don't know why they even bothered to change it. I think it's like, it was the one thing that set these guys apart from the other companies. Everybody else has the flip top. They should have just kept it this way. So either way, in the base, I just keep all my hoses. There's three different hoses. One of them is a 12, and then there's two seven foot hoses. So pretty close to 25 feet. Um, I could fit a lot more in there too. I mean, I could get probably a standard size soccer ball in there if I wanted to, or something to that size. Um, so on the outside, real quick, before I take the other box off, I did install my 10 second switch on the back. Um, you figure these wheels are going to protrude quite a bit further than that. I mean, it doesn't even come out to the height or the width or whatever you would call it, um, as these bars here. So it has not gotten in the way yet. Um, it's really really good. I don't have to like put it in the box or nothing like that. It just rides like that. No issues. Um, and then since we're going to just, we'll just work our way down the, uh, the, the way it carries, the way that it moves along, um, having this on off switch, it has like a little 45 degree angle on there. It works really well with the handle. I didn't plan it that way. That was just kind of a stroke of luck. Um, originally I had it like this and it was kind of like busting up my knuckles moving around and you know, I was like, duh, Pat, just turn it around, you know, so working out really well. Um, with this, I have a little standoff in there, just a little piece of half inch. I'll tighten that up. Maybe, maybe I'll glue it in, but this works well. This isn't like full on attached to big legs and uh, and whatnot. It lends well to me being able to just run with that if I don't feel like running this whole thing into the into the job or whatever. Um, so a little bit further down in this middle box, this is just where I keep just little guys so that it can like attach to different saws. You know, I've got the little guy for the Craig jig here. 
um, one extra filter, and then I have room for quite a few extra bags. And like I said, just all kinds of little things. Um, if I want to just use it as like a regular shop vac and not specifically for a dust collector, hooking it up to salts. Um, there you go. Just to give you a little rundown, a little idea of how it moves. Really awesome. Fits through doorways really well. Um, like I said, I can go across someone's lawn, up and down driveways. No issue. Uh, that's going to be it. Like I said, Pat, Clovis Project. If you're into content like this, tool mods, all kinds of DIY builds coming up. Uh, I'm going to be sprinkling in some contractor videos and who knows what else, some art stuff, all kinds of things. Thanks for watching.